So in this short film, we're going to be looking at how to create a simple reflection in Photoshop. As you can see on the left hand side, we've created this kind of almost glass like uh, reflection, whereas we've got the original image on the right hand side. So let's shut down the reflected image and just see what we're going to do on here. So this is pretty much all done in cam camera, just uh, obviously it's quick fixes in the likes of RAW. Um, but uh, from this image, uh, to make it nice and simple, we're not going to make any selections. We're simply going to, first of all, just uh, Control J to duplicate the image. And then we're going to free transform it and flip it. So in other words, we're going to Control T, which is the shortcut for free transform. And then we're going to right click within the window. And then you can see we're going to flip it vertical. So straight away, we've got our kind of uh, um, image upside down. The next thing I'm going to do is basically just go in and delete off the top uh, uh, the top of the image, which is basically just below the feet. Uh, I don't need this top piece of white, so I may as well get rid of it now. I'm just going to hit the delete button. So if I switch off the background layer, you can now see basically we've deleted that top part. So um, next of all, we're going to just uh, select the move layer and Basically, I'm going to hit the shift key when I do it and just drag it down. That keeps it um, bang on straight. If I didn't use the shift key, uh, basically it would allow me to move it left or right when I move it. And you can see I've just left the feet just a little bit um, above. There's no reason to do that except for I know I'm not going to go down to the bottom of the image. So if I click on the background layer now, you can start to see where, where we are. I can start to actually bring this layer up so it's just going to touch the, uh, the feet itself. And then all I'm going to do is reveal the cam uh, the canvas below. So I'm just going to go up into image, reveal all. You could have done this with the crop tool. That's what I've just done. <laughs> um, but make it kind of using the uh, Photoshop technique with it. So um, there's our kind of uh, basic um, shadow, our reflection. So it's obviously not quite yet because of it's too clean. Um, probably I'd want to rotate it just a little bit as well just to add a little bit of dimension to it. And it depends on the kind of uh, angle that you want to actually as appear as if it's kind of jumping away from. Let's double click that now. And then what we're going to do is basically, first of all, we're going to just add a quick opacity change of the image to start to lighten it up. But the, the real kind of trick is going to be when we first of all add a gradient across the image and by creating the gradient we're going to actually tell it to actually kind of fog out from the uh, the top of the, the image in other words from his head up towards his feet his feet would be the darker area and his head would be the lighter area of course uh, for my reflections though i don't want it pin sharp so i am going to go in and just basically go in fil filter blur and add uh, the fir first of all a gaussian blur just a small one that's going to just add a kind of a camera blur anyway um, just to make sure it's not sharp. And then I'm going to go back in again and do a filter blur and a motion blur. Um, and that's going to be in a vertical. It's, it's already set here anyway, but if we're moving this dial around, if you want it to be a perfect 90 degrees, press and hold the shift key and basically then it will uh, keep it into the 45, 60, 90. It goes by 15 at a time with it. So is 90 degrees there. Press and OK. And again, we're, we're, we're close to a finished um, subject already, really, in fact. But uh, I just think we need to actually add that gradient in, as I mentioned. So I'm just going to pick up the gradient tool. First of all, though, before I actually add the gradient to the image, I want the actual gradient to be affected on an, a mask. So I'm just clicking on a mask there. And then all I'm going to do is basically pick from the head up towards the feet. And then you can see it starts to actually add the different gradient level on. And obviously it depends on how much you want. Uh, you can actually get it closer and closer towards the feet. So just actually just knocking that back a little bit. And that's it. Our quick kind of uh, uh, tr transformation to give us a bit of a reflection uh, from the standard image. Let's do that in a very quick repeat to show you how simple it is. So let's hit the F12 key, which will revert the image back to where it was. We're going to control J to duplicate the image. We're going to control T it to basically um, bring up the bounding box. Right click, flip ver vertical, press en enter to make the crop selected. 
go into the marquee tool, drag just to the point of uh, below the toe, because we definitely don't need that no matter what, and hit the delete key. Then we're going to hit V for the move tool, drag it down so it's just below the toe. Then we're going to go up into image, reveal all. Control T to slightly transform the shape and remove it again. Now remember, if this was on a different background, we'd have to make a selection around the image, but because it's pure white, we don't have to worry about it. There we go, I think. That's pretty good. Move it back so the toe is going to touch, or just, or just below if you want him to feel that he's lifting off the ground, of course. Then the next thing we're going to go into is the uh, filter and the blur and the Gaussian blur. That's obviously just to suit whatever is your taste. Once more, filter, filter, blur, and motion blur. Again, we can make that as much or as little as we want by increasing the distance. Pressing OK again. Finally, then we're just going to hit the mouse tool, making sure we've got black and white on top, clicking onto the, grade, uh, the, gray, the gradient, then clicking from near the head up towards the feet to actually start to wash it out. Finally then, change the opacity down to the layer that you want, and then pretty much you've got a good reflection. Um, for me though, I'd probably uh, add more background into this image. So in other words, hit the C for the crop tool. I probably actually want to bring the spatial awareness around the image to feel like he's on a very big stage, as if he's a dancer and so on with it. But that is the quick way how I create a reflection in Photoshop.